Welcome to DC Today. It is Thursday, August 17th, and uh, good to be with, with you all here again today. And actually, if, uh, if you listened yesterday, today was a, a little bit of a groundhog day as far as, as far as how markets traded for the session. Stocks opened up about 100 points or so, a little more in the morning, and then sort of just drifted lower for the remainder of the day, and we ended up closing basically at the lows, at least in stocks. And Dow was down about 290 points on the day. Um, the uh, interest rates were up on the day, which I think was what really kind of caused some of markets or some of, some of the reason that stocks sold off. You had interest rates pop above 430 on 10s today. So interest rates have, and, and same as yesterday, interest rates have moved a little bit higher. They've moved higher because growth expectations are moving a little higher. Um, we're essentially done with earnings season at this point and it was a little better than expected. You have GDP forecast that has been slowly but surely being inched up across Wall Street a little bit. And, um, and then today we had some manufacturing data out of the Philly Fed survey come out far better than expected. Uh, it was a positive 12. And don't worry about the absolute numbers as much, but just relatively speaking, it was a, it was a positive 12 when a negative 10 was expected. So it's a, a pretty big outperformance in some manufacturing data out of the country, which is good. And then we had some jobless claims um, that, were, that were a little better than expected. But again, you know, rates being moving up, on, especially on the long end of the curve, um, following yesterday's Fed you know, minutes uh, being released and them talking about inflation still being their number one worry and that maybe they would need to ratchet rates up a little bit more. You've seen, seen interest rates move up a little bit. Um, the high in October on the, on the 10 year yield was 434. So we're getting there, we're basically almost there. We were at 430 uh, intermorning, 431, and closed at 429 on 10s. The um, yield curve steepened again a little bit today. Two's 10s are now at 65 basis points. Um, I think there were 71 yesterday. So, you know, we're, we're continuing on. Um, and what I wrote basically was that I'll still be in the camp of good news being good news here. I, I understand the angst over interest rates and these things, but I, I do think with inflation now kind of meaningfully pulling back, with the owner's equivalent rent number inside of inflation start to come out, which is a 12-month average, I think that number will give us what we need to, to get on interest rates. And so far, knocking on wood, you know, there hasn't been a real uh, crack in the system, in the financial system, at least in this country. Um, I spoke yesterday a little bit about China and some things that they're dealing with and, and lowering interest rates and things. And the uh, financial firm that I mentioned yesterday had some more issues today with some restructuring. And uh, so, so just sort of the, the, the saga goes on um, uh, globally across, you know, across different countries. The, uh, the stock market, while it's been negative here for the month of August, we're down. Just keep in mind, we had a peak, at least in the Dow, of about 35,600 or so on August 1st. And we're roughly 34, 500 and change uh, today. And so it's over a thousand points, but it isn't a thousand points isn't what it used to be 15 years ago. You know, a thousand points is about three and a half percent. Maybe it's 1100 points, but three and a half percent. So August is, is negative, um, but you know, a three and a half percent pullback in markets is pretty run of the mill really. So I, I don't know if I'd, I'd read uh, a ton into that. Uh, one thing I did want to point out was the difference now in, in one of the, the worries on interest rates is that while rates, say, mid fours on a 10-year treasury are, are higher for the past 15 years, we're, we've all gotten used to interest rates, you know, on 10s or, or just in general being, you know, 2 to 3 percent, 3 and a half at the most, um, and now they're a little higher. Just historically speaking, you had basically the entirety of the 60s, the 90s, the early 2000s. You know, m many periods of time where, where 10 year rates were in the mid fours or above. And uh, we still had positive GDP growth. In fact, if you think of those decades, a lot of positive things happened, like, you know, inventing the internet, the landing on the moon, and, you know, all these, all these pretty amazing accomplishments. So I, I just think there's just a lot of fear on interest rates um, uh, when maybe there shouldn't be. And all that to say, and I wrote this, you know, I mean, the, there's differences in all those periods of times. And there's differences now, which is that the world, not just the U.S., but in other places, but we'll talk about the U.S., is just more indebted than it was back then. And so the fear, and, and it's rightfully so, the fear is that, you know, if interest rates are going to stay high, is that sustainable? Can we keep this growth going? Right now we see growth, 
and uh, that's good, but is that sustainable over time? I suspect it isn't, okay? So I don't wanna get over my skis with the comment to not worry about it. It's something to worry about. It's just, I don't know, day to day if it needs to be obsessed over um, as much. So all that to say, um, yeah, down day in markets, uh, both in stocks and bonds, but uh, we'll come back at you next week. Tomorrow, uh, not a lot in the economic calendar tomorrow. Um, frankly, there's not a lot in the economic calendar on Monday either. That doesn't mean there won't be a lot of news, but um, we'll have a nice dividend cafe for you on Friday and then be back with you on the long forum at DC Today on Monday. And uh, as always, reach out. Uh, any questions I can answer, I'm always happy to. I know David is as well. And we appreciate you listening. Thank you. Mm -hmm.